this is uh, 18 spires trying to uh, Five, talk through this four, dungeon. Three, two, one. I play Guardian with the uh, Natural Order's Will, Legendary and uh, Restoration Affinity. We are vastly outnumbered mortals. The Forsworn have cut a swath through most of our forces. Well, Start out with a mistake, forgot to uh, got to uh, proc uh, card and burst before starting. No biggie. Make it work. Guardian up. Gonna pull the next pack here. If we're lucky, someone's gonna dispel the weapon. Gives us a pretty nice DPS boost. Not uh, very usual with pugs. As you can see, he still has it up here. Oh, there's some dispel. Awesome. Go ahead and pick that up. So I'm in a bit of a lull with cooldowns right now, I still have uh, survival instincts if necessary. They're not really doing any damage to me though. So this instance at some point is a bit annoying with the spiteful seeming as how we get the spiteful and can't fly until we kill them. So we're gonna have to kill them here before we can continue. I should have kicked that uh, burden of knowledge because now the healer dies. Not that it really matters. Kill shades. I should probably you have come up with the first the pack there. Devils. And yet all it's always this nice time to have it pucks, was you who led uh, the force to help wall. to heal prides. Your blind adherence to the path would have doomed us all. You left me no choice but to oppose you. I call for Fourth CC Lord, of the Mender here so we can kill it together with the Pride. Interfere. So the pack gets a little bit easier. Pull as soon as we have the CC and keep you going. I have a deal with the Shaman that he... Uh, he... Uh, kicks mm -hmm. all the... All the abilities from the Golems. Go so... Uh, the rest of us don't need to think about that. It's bonus of having a shaman with a short green crop. So this is a group without a um, Curian, so we're gonna have to adapt accordingly. I'm just gonna kick the slash because we're not gonna have anything else to kick soon. Backs from my friends. As soon as this dies, I'm gonna pull the mender in together with the pack. Gotta make sure to kick it if it tries to heal. Avoid. Interrupt. You think yourself exceptional, gifted. But so someone dispelled speedy. that. I can't see where it is. Oh, there it is. I'm gonna pick that up. Avoid. I failed there. Walk right into a uh, warp stop of me. So if we get in issues during this uh, pride, I'm gonna jump out and combo kill. Looks like the priest is some trouble, so we're gonna do that right now. This is dangerous with the mender because the pride doesn't do that much damage to me physically, but uh, the mender does. Hopefully someone removes this weapon from him. They did. I'm gonna go ahead and pick that up. Try to not get hit by the copper <laughs> this time. None shall be spared. Dodge. Dodge. Defensive. Dodge.
defensive. Dutch. 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 That is fine. Defensive. Dutch. Dutch. This time. Dutch. This boss is rather easy. You need Dutch. to make sure you uh, look out for the link between them. The overhead slash uh, Kintara uses when he uh, hits 100 energy and make Dutch. sure you place the spears. He shoots away in this phase. A place where they're not too much in the way. Try to make sure they stand together for all of my DPS. Defensive. Dodge. Overhead slash will hurt a lot more if you're a less durable tank. Take the long route here. Defensive. Dodge. Pop a drink. Dodge. Standing a bit in the <laughs> spear. He's gonna Defensive. jump up soon. So gonna move. Dodge. Up here on the next Dodge. pack over here, I'm gonna call Dodge. for a flare and I'm gonna pull the other pack. I have Guardian up for no. that, so Avoid. placing the spear over here. It's a bad taste of me. Dodge. Should have done that better. Dodge. Try to make sure DPS as much as possible here. Flare, please. So I'm gonna wait here until he flares. Flare. This is just one of the problems with running a park. People are not that attentive. As long as I have Guardian up, I can probably tank this, but as soon as that's over, we're fucked. That's what I'm gonna do here. I still have a little bit of Guardian left, but. I'm gonna prop use my Ursals and then I'm uh, gonna run away. We don't want to kill anything more over here because uh, I try to make my roots as pug friendly as possible and without killing this big guy over here and only killing the guys on the right over here you make sure you uh, get pride at a very good time for the second boss and you don't have to deal with pride and a pack. So this pack right here, you can pull them up, but it's usually a bit easier to pull them down. That's what we're gonna do. If not any everyone stands in loss here, they're gonna start hurling up here. So that's what happened here, and I might have to pick them up. So same issue here, if they if, they, if not everyone in the group losses, they're gonna stand up here. So this is always an issue with pugs that need to try to get them coordinated and they're usually not very coordinated. As you can see, I'm standing here losing. They are not in line side of me, but they don't give a shit because they're holding at other people. So this guy up here is gonna come down because he can't see the casters. So now we have them in a decently uh, grouped up way. That's fine. I'm not really taking any damage, so I'm gonna go ahead and maul instead of iron for here. We're going to the next pack. We spawn pride of this one. Apparently we have someone in the group who's really awake, so uh, I get uh, weapons when he spawns them. That's rather nice DPS increase for the group, or for me. I can this spell. Force one doctrine, you all have kick, and I would have kicked that unless the shame didn't kick it. Avoid. Make sure you avoid the crashing strike. It's uh, front or in front of him. Interrupt. I didn't pick the weapon up, so I'm just gonna pick it up. Imagine all you like in your tools. You only delay the inevitable. Popping Borg 
damage skin early, so I maybe can use it twice during this pride. I definitely prefer when doing it with pugs that you make sure that uh, the one who has the warp stands still and the rest moves rather than. I'm gonna lose the shape here, I'm gonna go to my here. Rather than having everyone move around, that's usually a big issue. all the time to make sure to help the healer as much as possible. These packs Listen hurt a lot if you don't devils. corrupt them. So the we have a couple of ways to corrupt these. We have uh, incapacitating roar and we have uh, so long as you my war stomp. I'm gonna use the trinket here and then I'm gonna go ahead and roar as soon as I see a little boost casting. We overlap CC there means the shame but it's fine. One of the rougher facts up here, which is why I saved her, so. Diva. Avoid. Avoid. So the range got hit by the crashing strike there, and as you can see, it hurts a lot. He took a big chunk of HP for that. Avoid. Partly because I positioned it badly, so it had an easy way of hitting them. Taking a lot of damage here. I have Bark Skin up again, so I'm just gonna go ahead and use that. The Shaman is an absolute boss at kicking, so I can kick less priority kicks like Dark Lash, they hurt, but not as much as some of the other casts. So here we have dogs patrolling, and that's usually a bit of an issue. So I'm gonna ask for flare again. When you don't have spites, you can see if you're getting combat by doing this. There we go. Getting stunned by these uh, suckers is gonna make you hurt. They polarize on one of them, so that's gonna make you do 35% less damage to me. I have a hefty amount of stacks, so I'm gonna kite. Kiting in Shadowlands is a bit of a fine adjustment because you want to kite to make sure you don't take too much damage but then again if you kite classes like mages and shamans are going to do a lot less damage if your uh, targets are not stationary so again here kill the target so you can fly fly on for eons we have been told Depending to on what uh, class you play with as tank here, timing is rather important. As a DK, you can just put death and decay ones. down, and you're fine. In the name of as a druid, you need to make sure you get these suckers out. I didn't. An and I, of An course, got hit by the uh, mechanic at the same time. I have trinket and I have fork skin, so it's not that big of a deal. But if you get on higher kills, screwing up like I did is uh, gonna cause you to die. Pride of this back. You think yourself exceptional, gifted, but you will lose your ability. Try to make sure I don't get hit by the orb. Parsing up. I'm gonna to use that. I have to walk in five seconds, which I will use as soon as we get a bit of the rest of us. Transfiguration so I can heal my friends with a bit of work. 
Here comes the combo kill to make sure everyone's good and topped. When I don't play with pugs, I usually tell the healer to save his CD so I can go on and provoke. Since I don't play balance affinity, I'm uh, Convoke is just best to use the heal, I feel at least in Pugs. Kicking the force from the screen, I don't wanna get that cast off. And trinket up here. I'm gonna start with using trinkets. Avoid. Still have to deal with the shaman that he uh, kicks all the casts on the uh, golems. So I can just go ahead and use small setup instead of the iron fur. And just as before, we're gonna have to kill these before we can fly, so I might as well help out with that. So with the route I've chosen for this, uh, you get a really, really nice pride on this pack. This is a rather rough pack, but you get pride of the last mob rather than during the middle of it. And that just makes it so much harder. I'm gonna go ahead and... Barking right away, that uh, turned out to be a mistake since... This first one right away. I kicked the wrong target there, so I'm gonna have to save it with my. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use survival instincts here because I'm taking Avoid. shit tons of damage. Kick that. I have. Uh, well, actually, I'm gonna use it right away because I'm still taking shit tons of damage. I have my war stump back up, gonna use that to reduce my damage somewhat. Trinket is up, using that. I have a weapon over there I can pick up, I missed it. Maybe I can get a spell on this one, we can pick it up over there. We're gonna pick it up, I'm gonna use my other survival instincts. This is gonna make it a lot harder for me to help uh, to convoke kill during the pride. I'm gonna have to time it with my bar skin rather than survival instincts. Still very much doable, but I prefer to do it with survival instincts. Here I pop a wild growth since I don't have any mobs hitting me and reheal on myself. So here I'm gonna save my uh, bark skin for a bit longer so I can pop out and heal later on. And since I'm playing with natural or will, I want to make sure that I uh, handle the bear form at the start and at the end of it. So I'm gonna take the full effect of my, my defensive regeneration there and then I'm gonna pop back in and bear form. Everyone's nice and full. So with this boss you wanna keep him moving while you tank him. And the reason you wanna do that is as soon as he jumps, 
you want to keep him one orb ahead of where he is right now. So I'm going to show it when he jumps. So he has orb shooting out. And I want to have him standing where the next orb is going to hit all the time. Because what that does is it uh, makes sure that the orbs fly out perpendicular. That's much easier to dodge. I think I screwed a little bit up, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna take him away from it because we're only gonna get. I can see they shoot perpendicular, so it's rather easy to dodge now. Also during the recharge phase. See that right now. All I have to do is move a little bit to the right, to the left, and they're very predictable when you place them that way. Normally this is where you would pick the second spear up, but I chose to play without we a Kyrian. Because we must. Just gonna tell my group that we're skipping here. Would only impede our sacred duty. No, it was a mortal One of the main reasons the pugs don't usually work out is because of lack of communication. So the clearer you can be what you, about what you want to do, you want to make sure you are clear about that. And as a druid, I can make it easier for my team by just stealthing up and uh, use my uh, repair mount to make sure they have something to jump to up here. Avoid. I was apparently not in stealth. That was dumb of me. Gonna try that again. Not sure what happened there. One of the policies I have when playing is if I think we're gonna complete the run, I I uh, never argue during uh, during the uh, the run. Usually, it's best just to leave the arguing out completely, but. Uh, Sometimes it's hard to not do that, so I save that for the end of the run if I do it. Just gonna take the safe from there. We're very good on time, so that's not an issue. If I didn't fuck up there, we could have probably plus two it. Killing this one pack. It's a good time to use Urshock because we're gonna get it up again in time. The end of the boss at least. These two wardens Interrupt. have the things you wanna kick. We're gonna go ahead and pour something now. They heal for a lot if they're allowed to heal. There's probably weapons lying around here somewhere, but I can't see them. I a big time there. Basically, we had two people AFKing that pack, but... I'm gonna ask my team to politely come back and clear this pack.
died. Interrupt. 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 He has this improved weapon. He spelled it. I can't. Oh, there it is. Picking it up. I have stunned and interrupted if I need to. Interrupt. Clear on that. I want to make sure I have the priest with me, and here we go. Your defiance must be punished. This boss, what you want to do is make sure he's uh, don't have any melee standing in front of him because he has a short stump. He's using a blast, does a lot of damage. And the other thing you is you want to make sure that you stack up for them for their ordinance. So my team not very good at it, but this is okay. Stacking up reduces the distance you need to run around to pick the orbs up. I'm gonna pull them a little bit further back to make sure we have a place to place the place to place the next next one. Reapplying my trinket. So when he reaches zero energy, he's gonna start getting these orbs into him. He's gonna do that at the next cast. And I wanna make sure there's a big distance to him here. So they can just blast freely. So this is where the absorbing phase starts. So. So. Started out with uh, none may stand against the paragon. Okay, and here comes survival instincts. I'm gonna use the second one as soon as that one's over. Drink it too, as I have it up. See, they would have liked to see more damage on the boss during this phase, but. This time we're gonna get horrible placements of the uh, pure ordnance too. That placement almost killed me. <laughs> I think we might be able to get through this one without a sick. Uh, absorption so. phase here. So I can still fall. Got lucky. 
As I peered into Uther's memories, what I saw. So one of the adaptations I've done by doing this many many times is um, the first add up here. I would usually pull it to where you land and tank it there. What happens is if you stand there, is that your group is not going to move away from the diminuendo. So what I started doing instead, of one, what I think most tank does is they tank him over where he stands with him facing away because no one stands over there naturally. So I go ahead and take him down. I experimented quite a lot with the order of these and I found that simply the easiest way to go is middle, left, uh, right. So you take this one first, astronaut second and then you take uh, Crocus third. That makes life a lot easier. I'm probably gonna opt for BL here for the last one. Just to make sure we get it down quick enough. Oh and I'm gonna use my Ursa on that one too. So, for the first one of these uh, spears, you wanna just make sure you take a look where they're shooting at. So, I'm standing very safe right here. Makes it easier to uh, oh find your uh, proper placement for the next couple of spare spears too. These are two good spears, I don't have to move at all. Avoid. That one's on me, I should be able to stand here. Just want to make sure, so I'm gonna keep my eye over here. Get hit by that. And it was... Just... Avoid. White spot. This one I'm a bit unsure of. This is a place where a lot of people die. Priest pull for me. is not very effective on the boss phase because you can't use utilize the entire duration of it. So I prefer using the yellow on this specific on, on 45. I did not uh, check out the first uh, directions of the spear so I'm not sure if I'm safe clear, very hard to see too. Good here. Healing Accept your you defeat, yourself Arthur. Exception. I serve Gifted. a far greater power but than you. With your spear in hand, and I will early. take control of the spires and forge new paragons to lead the Kyrian. Bark skin to make sure I have it up later. The jailer has twisted your I mind, my, uh, You must be stopped. And talents that no I can matter sure the cost. Because I say gift heals the rest of your party when you're full. Rather than yourself. Somewhat of a lower effect, but it's still valuable during uh, mobs like Pipefoot, for example. What I usually do here since I'm running uh, Find shelter. Rest on Mosseries, I pop out and I pop my. Uh, 
while growth while he casts his ability in the ring there. Just keep pumping while he's here. Gotta start running now. Get to far one. DPS is not that important. Especially as a feral druid, I'm a uh, guardian druid, I'm not the one who does the most. Mortals! Take up my Picking it up, make sure she moves before I cast. That's one of the things that makes you miss if you Base don't change. wait for her to move before you cast. I can't tell you how many times I've uh, lost high keys. Keep that exact thing. That's a very important thing to keep track of. Oh Got the Guardian there, because I have it. Wild growth helps off my healer a bit. That is much more important during tyrannical weeks, of course, than this. If I reach, push it back up. Can pop that. Find shelter. There you can see that one of the issues with this addition detonation oh is that it has a one second shorter cooldown in your wild growth. So what ends up happening is you're not able to use it for all the time. Oh, Jumping out here. Taking the farthest one. Among the clouds. Mortals, take up my spear! Phase change. Popping the bulb right off the bat here because there's nothing left to use it on. It's gonna go ahead and be DPS this one down. Oh boy. The route I use for this one is the jailer's scheme. One I've uh, in the ranks made myself, of the and I think it's one probably must the most, most puck friendly one. Um, Long have we believed that let our me know if you found any mistakes or anything I should do better. Be Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank service. you very much.